Hello. Happy Monday, everyone. How are you? This is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We are back for another Monday Night Live Craft Late Night. How we doing? Say hey when you are hopping on. Just going to get this going for the world to see. What's up, everyone? It's a little later than I usually hop on, but that's totally cool. Hello, hello, everyone. Hi, hi. Say hey, please. What's up? All right. Hi, Mom. All right, let's get going. Mm. Why aren't all my comments showing up here? Hi, Auntie Kim. How are you? Um, all right, so let's get going. Tonight, um, so it's obviously week of Halloween, right? So we're going to do um, some Halloween crafts this week. Um, I'm going to make this one live tonight, and then I might make another one just on my own and post it later this week. Um, and then I have another fun um, Halloween craft that I've already made that I did a step-by-step -step for you. Um, so that is going up this week too. So lots of Halloween posts this week in honor of obviously Halloween this weekend. Oh, thank you everyone. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. I went swimming after work today. Um, and so my hair is like disgusting, but I was like, if I put it in a headband, it might work. <laughs> um, all right. So tonight we're going to use these three letters. Um, boo, right? So here, I'll flip them backwards so you guys can tell, right? So boo, um, I thought this would be a cute, I don't know if it's going to be quick or not. And I kind of am planning it on the fly. I didn't really know what I wanted to do tonight. I just knew that I wanted to do, um, Halloween. So we're going to start out with the trusty paint sticks. We were at Lowe's this weekend. So I picked up a few more packs. Um, I love using paint sticks, um, as my surfaces because they give you that nice wood grain effect. Hi, Aunt Sandra. They give you that nice wood grain effect. Um, you know, and it's cheap and they're light. So if you know, you're making a door hanger or something, uh, you don't have to worry about it being so heavy. All right. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to let this totally overhang. My plan is to like stack the letters on each other so that they fit. They overhang a little, but they also fit. And it'll just be like, it'll take up the whole thing. Can you guys kind of see that? Can you see what I'm doing? Can you let me know? Because again, like this is new with this setup. So let me know if you can appropriately see what I'm doing here. Okay. So this is my plan. You can kind of see the letters. Can I see what's going on yet? You can kind of see the letters stacked on each other. Okay. All right. So I have arranged these every other. So see how it has the beveled edge here? right? That's the top of the paint stick. I do it every other. So that way you don't have the holes all lined up on one side. There are times that I do, excuse me, that I do do them, um, with every time, um, going in the same direction. But in this case, I do not want to. Hi, Nicole. I had to keep saying hi to Nicole. Hi, Nicole. I don't know who Nicole is, but hello and thanks for watching. Super excited that you're here. All right, I have this big box of tongue depressors. Oh, geez, that I keep ripping. Um, so I'm just gonna take a bunch of these big tongue depressors. I have both sizes in here. And we're gonna glue our um, our paint sticks together. All right, this is, a, again, super easy way to get a nice um, surface that's got some pretty wood grain. Um, I put the ruler side in the back, obviously. So just pay attention to that when you're gluing together. Hi, Julia. When you're gluing together um, paint sticks that your ruler is in the back. <laughs> we love Nicole. We love Nicole. Obviously, we love Nicole. Obviously. All right. I'm just going to glue these together. And I kind of just go every other because one popsicle stick doesn't reach the whole way. So how is everybody doing tonight? How was your weekend? What's going on? It was gorgeous weather this weekend, huh? Oh, my Lanta. Beautiful. We uh, stained a deck this weekend. You know, I think I told you guys. So we had our deck redone earlier um, this year. I think, like, I don't even remember now. Um, and you have to let it settle and all that kind of stuff. And then you stain it or paint it or whatever you want to do to it. So we decided to stain it. So we stained it on Saturday. Um... And actually, Bob started it without me because I had a meeting. And it looked it looked beautiful when I got home. He had done so much. Um, and then we finished it. And yeah, it just looks really, really pretty. We picked this. Um, hi, Sandra. We picked this, like, um, we did it. It's a stain because 
the old deck was painted and it didn't look good. And I don't know, I just feel like paint on a deck is not a good idea because it just doesn't hold up that well. Hi, Elaine. I think it's Elaine who just popped on. Hi. Um, so it just, it just doesn't hold up well and it didn't look good. So we wanted to make sure we stained it. Um, but we wanted a stain that did have some depth to it. So we picked a um, semi-solid stain, not semi-transparent. We were going to do semi-transparent, but then we changed our minds. And we did a redwood color. So it's really, really pretty. Really kind of like rustic looking. Super excited. All right. So you can see that this is now glued together. So we've got our pretty surface that we're going to do everything with. The only thing I don't like about this is I feel like I want to glue this together. So you know what I'm going to do? I am going to take a small popsicle stick. What happened in here? Oh, Bob went through this. That's why. We were looking for the paint stick stirrer, so this got a little bit disorganized. So I'm just looking for, here we go, not the, the paint can opener. So I'm just going to cut one of these small ones in half with my wire cuttery things because they cut better, I think, maybe, possibly. Maybe not. Yeah, they cut better. <laughs> Does they cut better? And I'm just gonna glue this like on a diag, just to. Oh gosh, that really kind of messed that up. Let's use the scissors. Oh, the scissors kind of. Oh, I don't know where that went. I don't know where that went. All right, so I'm just gonna. Ooh, I'm just gonna take just a glue because there's like a little piece that isn't totally attached on both sides. So I'm just gonna do that and then do it on this side too. Oh, ow. Oh, scissors, blister. I got a blister. I don't know if you can see it. From when we were rolling the paint on the, the stain on the deck. Oh, gosh. That hurt. Yeah, it hurt. I told Bob, I said, I think it's time we chopped a finger off. It hurts. <laughs> oh. So what did you guys do this weekend? It was gorgeous fall weather. What else did we do this weekend? I had a meeting. So I had a meeting at, um. so drop some comments. Let me know what we all were up to. I had a meeting at my um, on my college that I went to. I'm on a board thingy there, whatever, council or something. Um, and, oh my gosh, was it a gorgeous day on campus. Um, so my college basically looks like New Hampshire, but it's not in New Hampshire. Um, and it was gorgeous. And that's like the reason I chose to go there. Um, all right, I am just going to grab some paint. My paint are, my paints are messed up. What happened here? Um, all right, I'm going to grab some black paint. Uh, I'm not going to use chalk paint today. I'm not going to worry about that. All right, let's use some black paint and a paintbrush. So yeah, so my college looks like New Hampshire, but it's not New Hampshire. And um, it's gorgeous in the fall. And so it's, and it's all changed since I've gone there, right? New buildings and all these different things. And um, so I, um, oh, I forgot my trash. I forgot my trash tray. Um, so... Uh, so Saturday when I had to go to campus for a meeting, which was really fun because I hadn't been to campus in a really long time for obvious reasons, the COVID. Um, so I just realized I can put my foot up on the table here and it like makes it super comfortable. Um, so first time there in a long time, they have like new buildings and everything. And so, you know, the, the, um, email about the meeting you know, said what building it was in and, you know, very clear email, nothing wrong with the email whatsoever, but I read it as a totally different building. So I'm just going to paint this whole thing black and then we're going to do like a chippy effect with some Mod Podge to make it look kind of, um, spooky and chipped and stuff. Um, so I read it as like a totally different building on campus. So I parked in a lot that was you know, where I thought the meeting was and walked in that building. I was like, I need to use the restroom before I go to the meeting room. So let me go do that. And I'm like literally leaving the restroom. And I was like, I'm in the wrong building on campus. <laughs> I was like, oh, geez. And I was like, but what building am I supposed to go to? And so then I looked it up and it's one of the new buildings. And I'm like, which one is this again? I like was totally lost, totally lost. Not, I wasn't physically lost, but just like mentally was not processing anything. So then I found it. I was still pretty on time because I like to be early for things anyway. So I had time, but oh my gosh. So it ended up allowing me to walk on campus more because of course where I parked was absolutely nowhere near the building I was supposed to go to. But 
it was kind of a little bit of a nice treat because I got to really walk along campus and um, the trees were all turning and oh my gosh, was it a gorgeous walk. So all's well that ends well. So I went to the wrong building, found the right building, found, got to the meeting, did the whole meeting thing. Um, and then I got to have a lovely walk back to my car. <laughs> oh, it was too funny though. Do you ever have that happen? Like you just, you're like so sure of yourself where you're going and like the way you're processing something. And then you're like, this is absolutely not accurate whatsoever. That's the kind of moment I had on Saturday. Did anybody else have that? Oh. Did anybody pumpkin pick or apple pick or any of those other fun things? We watched, hi Peggy. Um, we watched football on Sunday, obviously. What a game, huh? Oh, I can't even. I can't even. Oh, so it's funny. I said the co- Oops. I said the co- Um. Uh, I know. Oh, my God, Julia. That- Oh, whoops. Wrong way. Julia, that would have been even worse. <laughs> oh, my God. And I parked behind w I parked behind W.B. Mason um, and had to walk to, like, old Stanger, even though Stanger doesn't exist anymore. I can't believe Stanger doesn't exist anymore. Anyway, sorry. That's a side note. <laughs> oh. Oh, so I said the COVID earlier, and I, I meant to bring this up. So I, when I was swimming today at the club, um, I was just, I was kind of just putting myself back together because I had to go to the supermarket after I um, swam. And, oh, so this is the, this is where we're at right now, just plain old black. I am just going to kind of spread this in on the back. I sometimes finish the backs of these projects later. It depends. It depends. This kind of looks spooky, so it might <laughs> it might look cool to just kind of keep it this way in the back. Um, but I was just spreading out the extra paint. So, oh gosh, I got a lot of extra paint right there. Our mat is a little. Hold on, I'm just gonna dress. So I was at the club getting myself ready to go to put. I was putting like my clothes back on, trying to do something with my hair to go to the supermarket after swimming, uh, and these women were speaking about just different things and, you know, think, wait, the way things have changed and they should have towels um, for them because one woman forgot her towel to go swimming and she had to go home and yada yada. And they kept calling it the COVID. And I'm like, oh good, it's not just me. I feel like I call everything the, like the Facebook, the Google. I totally, whoops. Guys, mess. I need to, you know what it is? This silicone mat is fantastic because the stuff doesn't totally stick to it, um, which is perfect because then I can just wash it off. But the problem is that it starts to come off and get all over my stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like I call everything the, the COVID, the Facebook, the Google. I don't know. Does anybody else do that? Put a the in front of everything? That's like, I also say the TV instead of TV. Like I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> I had a choral director, this, um, God rest his soul, he's passed away since, but he was like one of my favorite choral directors ever. Um, it was this adult chorus that I got to sing in when I was in high school. Go figure. Um, but he always used to talk about that when we were talking about singing and putting the emphasis on different um, things. And he would always say, you're putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Um, and it was such a hit. <laughs> All right, so I am going to just take some Mod Podge and if it wants to come out and just like sporadically do this okay and i'm gonna take one of my not as fancy brushes right not that any of them are actually fancy and just kind of so you don't want this full coverage because then it's not going to be like that chippy look you know what i mean so i'm just kind of like i don't know just boop, just like you know kind of pushing it all over okay so that's that. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys about. Uh, hi, it's Kim again. Um, and now I'm gonna dry it, I think. Right, is that what I do next? Then I dry it. Yes. Then I'm gonna dry it, then we're gonna put a coat of white paint on it, and then we're gonna, then we're gonna chip it off. And that'll give us a chippy look. A little chippy, spooky, rustic look. Um, oh, so I wanted to tell you guys what we did Thursday night. We had quite a weekend, we went out. We went out Thursday night, we went out Friday night, we grabbed dinner Friday night. Um, 
Saturday night? What did we do Saturday night? Oh, I know, I cooked Saturday night. So Thursday night, I cooked dinner, um, but we wanted to just do something fun. And and our weekends are always, are always so busy, and we always have just so many things to do around the house that we were like, we wanted to do something fun Thursday night that might be like more packed if you did it on a weekend, plus we had things to do. So we went to a pinball arcade place and literally um i'll have to share it i'll have to drop a comment if you're local um literally they had like pinball machines upon pinball machines like old old ones um super old ones some new ones i played this willy wonka one um that was just like it had movies built in and sound effects and song. I'm like singing along and I'm like, this is so distracting from playing. And they're like, that's the point. The game wants to distract you. I'm like, ah, success, uh, <laughs> at least for me. But it was so much fun. Um, and so it had all the, all sorts of pinball. It had air hockey. It had um, all sorts of like, you know, shooting range games and ski ball and car racing games and the NFL games and the soccer games and the bowling game where you, um, you throw like the metal thing. Um, oh my gosh, it was so cool. And it was literally 10 bucks and you could just play as long as you wanted. So we got there like, I would say an hour and a half before closing time. I'm just gonna get this white paint going. We got there like an hour and a half before closing time. And we just literally 10 bucks and we played as many games as we wanted. And we were the only people there. Um, it was, it, cause it was a Thursday night. It was later, definitely after bedtime for kids. Um, oh, way too much paint, Bethany. Um, OMG, was it so cool. It was called, hold on, Electromagnetic Pinball. I believe that's what it was called. So if you're local, you need to check it out because it was so stinking cool. Um, we would definitely go back. 10 out of 10, highly recommended, would go back. All right, so I'm just painting this on. I'm not doing it perfectly. Just taking off paint as I go. Um, but it was so cool. It was like in an old mill. And this retired school teacher owns it. Like he's living his living his best life. Um, I was so excited that you could just play air hockey as much as you want. Um, we love air hockey. When we, um, a long time ago, we used to play. We used to go to this place that like if we had a couple of minutes, we would just literally go into this it was, um, place and put five bucks on the card and play five bucks worth of air hockey like before rehearsal or something, just for fun. Um, we love air hockey. <laughs> and this one you could play as much as you wanted, so you didn't even have to worry about paying. I was I was so, like the whole time, like I can't believe we don't have to put any coins in. Because I mean, some of these games, when you go to arcades these days, it's like a buck a play. And I mean, I kid you not, we played, we played arcade games for an hour and a half for ten dollars a person but still i mean it was just i mean they don't have prizes or anything you can just play over and over it was so much fun so that was our thursday evening <laughs> that was just what we decided to do on a thursday all right so now i'm going to take my little handy dandy scraper and pray that this works whoo my this whole thing is a hot mess okay please hold i am going to just paint this a little here because this is just this is just a hot mess so hold on hold on please everything here is a mess and i just don't want it to make too much of a mess huh um but yeah so highly recommend message me if you want more details okay that was super fun friday night we um we what did we do oh friday night we went to this um place near well we went to this taco place uh oh it's not working did i do something wrong i might have done something wrong i don't remember what I, maybe i did something wrong this isn't quite working why aren't you working? Oh, okay, hold on. If I really dig in, it works. 
that just might be what we have to do. Hold on, let me grab a different scraper and see if it works better. Oh yeah, metal scraper. Metal scraper, guys. Plastic scraper, no good. Metal scraper, the bomb. Um, so we went to this taco place on Friday night for dinner. Oh, but get this. So I earlier that day I had gone to um, Honeydew to grab a coffee and the, I went in and the person before me had forgotten their card in the card reader and the people in honeydew and i were talking about like oh my god i can't believe they forgot their card like their card got charged for mine then we had to undo it and yada yada um hello everybody who's hopping on hi mrs Paquin. say hey when you're hopping on everybody um and so we're talking about it and talking about it and this didn't come out anything like i wanted it to but that's okay um not exactly what i wanted what i wanted but it kind of looks cool right i don't know let me scrape a little more um and then so we're doing that and then we, we're at the taco place and i'm going to look for my card and guess who also forgot her card <laughs> at the place where we were making fun of the person who forgot their card but luckily it was right there and they remembered me and they talked just about that and how it was funny that we were making fun of the person and then i'm the one who forgot it also but hey live and learn live and learn luckily it was right there so it's a quick grab bada bing bada bing okay okay now this is done so here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna brush this off all righty this is kind of all spooky and chippy looking check it out spooky and chippy looking so um i just think i may have I'm not i'm actually not sure what i did wrong because we've definitely done this before with the mod podge so you know it's another thing we can do though and you know maybe we'll try that another time next time i want to do this um vaseline works as well i think the mod podge i probably let it dry too long maybe i wasn't supposed to let it dry that could be my problem maybe i maybe i did it wrong anybody remember how i've done this before because i've done it before but clearly i forgot but i think that's what i was supposed to do i was not supposed to let the mod podge dry i think that was my mistake all right I am gonna let that dry. And now I'm gonna grab our little vacuum. I'm using like all this white with my black shirt on. All right, so now we're gonna vacuum with our little vacuum. So we can pick up all these pieces. All right. Oh. But yeah, so when we went to the taco place, I don't know, I wasn't sure. We hadn't gone. It's this new place, and we hadn't gone because I was like, it's just tacos. And I don't know, I'm not really a taco person, mostly because when I go out to eat, I like to get, um, I like to get good portions, like things that I could bring home or just like not be hungry for the next three days, um, because you're paying for it, you know what I mean? So I like to really get like your bang for your buck. And when I think of tacos, I'm like, I'm going to be hungry in 15 minutes after I eat them because obviously I'm not a, I'm not a small meal kind of person uh, <laughs> which is why i've been working out so much <laughs> um all right there we go we're picked up i'm gonna wash this probably in the tub later on this week um all right there we go look at my hands guys you should have seen me when we stained the deck i was like covered i, I got stained on my shorts like under my shirt like what well, i probably was just pulling up my pants you know me um <laughs> it was a total mess um all right we're gonna paint these orange so I, um, so I wasn't so sure about the, um, the taco place, but we went and we shared a bunch of stuff. So we got their, um, I'm going with the boo plate again. So we got the, um, chips and guac, which was like this sesame seed guac. Oh my God, was it delicious? And like massive pile of chips. And then we got cheeseburger empanadas. So you got two little ones. God's gift to man, so good. We got um, pastrami, hot pastrami tacos. So Bob loves pastrami sandwiches. They're wicked good. That's like his thing when we go to a pizza place. So it was perfect that they had those. They were so delicious. And then we got um, tostones, which are um, uh, fried plantains with the, like a green sauce. And there's this is um, some Venezuelan place we like to go to too that does um tostones in a little bit different way actually they might do platanitos now that i think about it which are a little bit different they're more like a chip um 
But I was saying to Bob, one thing I love about that style of cooking is like all the different kinds of sauces. Um, I love them. They're so good. So good. So also, if you want that recommendation, message me if you're local. All right, so I'm just going to paint these orange. And then... I don't know. I was thinking either putting, I was thinking of putting polka dots on them. What do you think? Like I said, I'm kind of making this up as I go. Um, so I was thinking polka dots. And then we're just going to glue them on and make a big bow. Super simple. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Polka dots are like a dry brush a technique. Let me know what you think. Um, so I'm going to set this aside. Set this asunder. Um, but yeah. Oh, so this week in the Reading Buddies saga, right? So last week I was telling you guys that we learned about the chicken pox. So what I'm discovering is that I think this year my Reading Buddy is going uh, to is go, it's going to be very educational again, which is what happened last year. So last year I was paired with this awesome kiddo who um, is on the spectrum and he was not very comfortable reading. So I did the reading, which was totally fine because we were still reading buddies, right? Even though the whole point is for the kids to practice their reading. Um, but he was like a superstar student. He just wasn't very comfortable reading. So um, so I would read the books that he picked. And he loved trains. So we read every book about trains. We read all the Thomas the Tank Engines. I read, read a lot of Thomas the Tank Engine. All of them. Twice. Uh, and we listened to it on YouTube because by the end of it, we were coloring and playing tic-tac-toe and watching Thomas the Tank Engine on YouTube. But I mean, we, we, we read some serious like research books about local different types of locomotives. It's very fascinating. And I'm finding that I think this year it's also going to be very educational because last week we learned about the chicken pox. That's what, that's what my, my reading buddy picked. And then this week we started, because we didn't even have time to finish, uh, a book about the solar system. Not that I don't find that fascinating, but I just think it's going to be a very educational year. So fun fact, did you know that one of the theories about Earth prior to knowing about the sun and us orbiting around the sun and all that fun stuff, did you know that one theory was that the Earth was being carried on the back of an elephant and the elephant's four feet were being carried by turtles? I'm just going to leave you with that. I, I was like, I'd never heard of this one. You know, I've heard of the, uh, the everything, you know, revolves around the earth and the earth is flat and all these things. But yep, this lovely book we were reading today talked about how the earth, one of the theories was that the earth was being carried on the back of an elephant and the elephant was being carried on four turtles. So, yep, that's the kind of book I'm reading this, this week and next week because we only got to the chapter about the sun. We still need to learn about the rest of the planets. But get this. So we open the book and my reading buddy like puts a big, she like slams her hand down on Pluto because it's an all, it's, a, it's an old book. And Pluto was still a planet when that book was made. I was like, don't ruin Pluto. I love Pluto. Oh, but I know what I wanted to ask. Does anybody remember? Hey, Kim, a happy Halloween Eve. Eve, 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 Eve. Yes, we're making... Halloween craft. Um, does anybody remember? Um, we used to have like a silly sentence to help us remember the order of the planets, which fun, like side note here, half the planets start with an M, not half, but you know what I mean? Like, how did we determine who was in what space? But anyway, so does anybody remember my very educated mother? Uh, I can't remember the rest. Does anybody else remember the rest of how we remember the planets? All right, what do you think about me putting some polka dots on these? Does anybody have an opinion on that? I was going to use one of my big dabbers and just put some polka dots. What do you think? Polka dots? I don't know. Let me get my paintbrush out of the way. Oopsies. I'm getting paint everywhere. Guys, I'm a hot mess tonight. I do. Some Mio. Black again. All right, we're going to put some polka dots on. Um... But yeah, does anybody remember the My Very Educated Mother da, 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 to remember the planets? Because I can't remember them. I was trying to tell my reading buddy today, but I, I could not remember. Plus, Pluto's not a planet anymore, so it doesn't work anymore, but still. All right, so I'm just going to stick some 
polka dots on here. Oh, these are not going to be full polka dots, apparently. Oh, I guess if I do that, it works. Perfect. Look how cute. Some polka dots on our letters. No, I'm excited about this. This looks adorable. Whew. Okay, let's keep going. <sighs> um, so does everybody have their Halloween costumes ready? We can dress up for um, at school on Friday. So I'm all excited. So I'm going to wear my costume. Well, it's not, it's not really a costume. It's, well, I, to I will post a picture um, of Bob and I. But I'm excited to wear mine to work. All right, here we go. So you dab and then you turn, and that's how you get the full circle. These are just Dollar Tree dabbers. Dab and turn. Dab and turn. And a little bit of paint goes a long way on these. Dab and turn. And I'm kind of just like, whoops, that one went a little off kilter there. I'm just kind of alternating like on the letter totally and not on the letter totally. And you know the drill. You know the dealsies. Um, I remember the Blue's Clues song. Oh, Monique, I do not remember the Blue's Clues song. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some fill in on that. There was a Blue's Clues song for the planet. Oh, this is way too much paint, Bethany. I just really went overboard with that. Okay, we're gonna put one there, and one here, one here. Oh, I'm gonna have to start getting into. Oh, it's almost time for Christmas music, people. That's all I have to say. Is it is almost time for Christmas music. All right, so we've got polka dots on all our letters. Super cute. Super D. Oh, here we go. The sun's a hot star. Mercury's hot too. Venus is the brightest. Earth's home to me and you. Mars is the red one and Jupiter's really wide. Saturn's got those icy rings and Uranus spins on its side. Neptune's really windy and Pluto's really small. Oh, no more Pluto. Um, Thank you, Monique. I do not recall that one. I love it. I love it. I'm just drying up my polka dots. And then we'll glue everybody in place. I'm going to use some E6000 for that too. Because it's going to probably be a door hanger. So we want to make sure that the sun doesn't melt the hot glue. So yeah, fun fact. If you're ever making anything that's going to hang on a door, um, make sure you use combo E6000 and hot glue. Because that sun will remelt your hot glue. And then everything will fall apart. But yeah, so I'll have to let you know next week what else I learned from our solar system book. So that was our fun fact for this week. That's so funny, though. I'm going to have to remember this. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to screenshot this and show this to my reading buddy next week. Well, what was the other thing I told her? I would Google. Oh, no. I can't remember. Oh, my reading buddy was telling me that the sun is not the biggest star. They didn't know which one was, but they said the sun is not the biggest. So I said I would Google... Which star is the biggest? That's right. All right, so we'll just drying these bad boys up. Mm, righty. And you know what I'm finding too, having the polka dots. So these, um, these letters technically came in a pack that they were supposed to just hang, um, just three, the three in a row. So they have holes all in them, but the polka dots kind of take your eye off those holes because I didn't really feel like filling them in. So we've got our boo. We've got our boo. Super cute. Makes me think of super trooper. Let's are gonna find you like I always. Shoot a ba shoot a ba ba. <laughs> My mom and I went to go see Mama Mia recently. So I've been having, I've had those songs totally stuck in my head lately. How about you, mom? If mom's awake. I'm not sure if mom's awake. The the late night, I know, is a, it's late for some people. I know. It's late for me. <laughs> we were downstairs watching wrestling, and I was like, oh, no. I have to go do this. And it's so late. The largest known star in terms of mass and brightness is called the Pistol Star. Thank you, Cameron. Now, Cameron, did you know that? Or did you look that up? Are you a super genius? Super genius. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we've got our letters all done. Got a lot to wash tonight. So I'm just going to set all this over here. Lots to wash tonight. But we're done with painting, I think. 
I think we are done with the painting. Google, ah, oh, the Google. Remember I would say the, the Google is my faves. Okay. So here's our spooky background, right? Kind of all chippy and scraped. Boom. And we're going to glue these on. All right. So, oh, this looks fun. And remember, so this totally does not fit. So we're letting everybody overlap. Uh, and I'm going to let these O's overlap even, even so much more so you can really see the separation between them. And then the, boo, the B will sit right on top. Oh, this is so cute. And then um, we'll just make a cute little bow to put on it somewhere. Probably right maybe on the O in the middle. Awesome sauce. Okay, so let's glue these guys on. So again, we're going to use the combo of the hot glue and the E6000. I'm just excited that my new one here is working. Who's hopping on? Who, is, who am I seeing? Hey, Debbie, how are you? All right, let's get this glued on. So get some E6000 going. All righty. All right, so get the E6000. I actually used this E6000 yesterday to fix the headband I'm wearing because the... Um, the little wrap around the ear part, the part that goes behind your ears, fell off. Um, and I like this headband a lot. So, fix it. <laughs> I, um, oh my gosh, I have a black, I had a black headband like this. And it was like my favorite headband ever. And it recently broke. And I almost cried. Can you believe that? I almost cried over a headband. I know. It's sad that I should, uh, that, but... It was just an easy go-to, like, don't have to do anything to my hair option. And now I have to figure out my hair. Although I think I need a haircut. I need to talk to Auntie about that one. Definitely need a haircut. It's getting a little long. Getting a little, like, I'm not sure what to do with it. It's very helpful for the swimming, right? Because I can just throw it in a pony. But, um, yeah, definitely need a haircut. And I really don't know what to do for a haircut because... I've just, been, I've been at such a loss with what to do with my hair lately because I used to wear my hair a certain way all the time. Um, and I had this like bang swoop thing. I sort of got it back last summer a little bit, but your hair changes, right? And, um, your hair changes. So my, my bang just didn't swoop the way it did any, the way it used to, you know? Um, so I don't know. I don't know what to do. All right, it's going to throw some E6000, last one. So yeah, if you have any suggestions for hairstyles, let me know. I've got a nice super round face, so we got to work with the round face. Um, but you know, we deal. We deal. We got the round face. It's cute. Got my little Santa Claus nose, and we just go with it. All right, getting this B put on. And then we'll just make a nice bow. And she'll be good to go. Oops, we got some drip of the E6000. But yeah, so I used the E6000 on my headband, and it was perfect. And I used those little um, little clips you can get from the Dollar Tree. Um, they're like little claw, like um, like mini industrial clamps, like mini, mini, mini. Um, so that was super cute. Okay, ready? I'll show you this, and then we'll make a bow. Okay, here you go. Where we're at so far. Isn't this kind of cute? This is adorable. I quite like this. It's kind of simple, you know? You know me. Sometimes I don't like to go too complicated. I really like the polka dots, though. This is kind of cute. All right, cool. And it's just a nice size. Oh, my letters went totally crooked, though. Well, you know what, then? We're going to put the bow there, because I kind of left a spot by accident. <laughs> okay, so I've got Buffalo Check. Then I've got orange and black buffalo check and then you know I love this jack o' lantern. So, we're going to do that. I'm thinking that I'm going to do um this technique where you just you fold in. So, I have a little bit of this ribbon. I'm just going to use it. I don't think I'm going to use the other skein. So, I'm going to do this this technique where you just kind of fold it in the center here. Okay? And then you glue that in. And then I'm going to cut this other piece for the tail. Now, that's kind of a big bow. Is that too big? Yeah, that's too big. Please hold. Going crazy here. Okay, there we go. So we're going to cut this. And we're going to just fold this there. And let me just see if that's a better size. 
Much better size. Okay, so we're gonna cut this and then we're gonna glue that in place. So this is just another bow technique. I like to show you guys lots of different ways to make bows. All right, you don't have to be an expert bow maker or anything like that. There are lots of ways to make bows. So there's a will, there's a way. We need another glue stick. This was all organized. Hold on, hold on. Need to find a glue stick. All right, here we go. Beep, ba, ba. Here we go. Glue stick in the back. All righty. So we're just gonna put some glue on this to hold it in place. Not too much, I'm not gonna go crazy because this is gonna get tied together too. So, right, when we tie it all together. So here's one bow, so it's gonna get squished, okay? This is gonna be a tail, and we're just gonna kinda tape it, not tape it, we're gonna tie it in the back with it, and it'll be a nice little tail, okay? And then, um, these guys, I think what I'm gonna do is probably, boop, 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 do I want to do two bunny ear bows or awareness ribbon bows? How do I want to do this? Let's see. I love, because I love the awareness ribbon bow. It's super simple. Just kind of stick it in the middle. And then we'll stick that one on top. Okay, that works. That works. All right. I think I'm just going to do bunny ear bows but big ones. Well, I'm gonna do a big one with the orange and black buffalo check plaid. So there's one bunny ear bow. And it's easier when you're doing it with big now, cause these don't have any, um, these don't have any wire in them. So you kind of have to work with them a little bit differently. And then I'm just gonna try to really zhuzh this out well. All right. Oh, so fun fact guys, tomorrow's our anniversary. Isn't that exciting? Um, all day I've been like, let's, you know, a couple of years ago we were doing this and we were doing that and, you know, all those memories. So we're going to go to, um, we started a tradition last year, so it's, you know, only <laughs> not too many years in, but, um, that we, um, go to the place that we had our after party, um, for dinner. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow night. All right. And then we're going to use this. All right, let me get some twine. Probably going to stick um, a wood bead on this. Ba, ba, ba. I see lots of friends hopping on, so you should say hi. Oh, there we go. This twine. So, it's going to tie into there. That's going to tie onto there. All righty. Right, so we're just going to place that in the center of that. And this in the center of this. All right. And then we'll make another bow, bunny ear bow, out of the jack-o'-lantern one because I love this pattern on the ribbon. It's so cute. All right, let me just pull this out a little bit. All right, all right, all right. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, cut that. All right, cool. So these are from Michaels, if anybody's wondering, okay? They were not too expensive. They were $2.99 a piece. I didn't think that was bad. I've used them on a ton of projects, so. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm actually gonna hot glue this down before I tie it, just to make sure that it's centered and that it stays centered. Okay, so just a little dab of hot glue just to hold it in place. Okay, I'm gonna do one more dab here and put this right on top. Whew. Alrighty, ow, 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 stuck my hand right in the hot glue. Owie, ow. All right, so now we're gonna take our twine and we're going to wrap everybody up together including this big piece in the back for the tail and then we'll zhuzh that down kind of put it in place. All right. 
Make sure this twine is tying right in the center of those two other bows. This is pretty because it's, you know, it's kind of rustic, but it's also still Halloween-y. And this is cute. All right, all right. And like I said, I'm probably going to put a wood bead in the center, paint it with some black maybe real quick. Oh, maybe I'll just like do a quick paint with it with the dabber so that it's not so super painted. It's more of like a rustic look. All right. So now is what we got so far. So now what we do is we bend these these down so we've got you know <laughs> we got a tail here i don't want my tails to be too long so i'm going to cut them up i actually don't mind if they're a little um on the jagged side because again it's halloween and my scissors aren't working great but you know what what do you want it's doll tree <laughs> So it is what it is. All right. I'm just I'm not going to cut anything else off there, I don't think. All right. So now I'm going to open up this bow a little. Open up the bows all a little bit. All righty. We've got our tails. Look how cute this little bow is. Isn't that cute? Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. All right, bring my tray forward here. Bada bing. Whoops, missed the tray. My little, my little G, GT garbage tray, right? All right, so. I know it kind of like blocks the entire word, but I don't know. What do you think? Right in the center? Pretty much blocks the whole thing, but I kind of don't care because it's so stinking cute. This side definitely is too long. Too big, I should say. Ooh, but that's okay. It is what it is. It's not perfectly centered, but hey, it happens, right? It happens. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put it right in the center and block everything, and I don't really care. So I'm going to quickly grab a small wood bead. And I have, because I have this pack, I'm going to grab the smallest size I have. And I love these. You can do so many fun things. Remember we made the spider with one of these? Um, and I'm going to grab my dabber which still has paint on it. And I'm literally just going to dab on this thing. And if it paints the whole thing, that's great. And if it doesn't, that's cool too. I don't want it to be perfect. Perfect, there we go. Excellent. That worked out well. I'm gonna dry that up. And I'm just gonna glue it on the center to hide that jute. And then we'll glue it on and we'll call it a day. I'll probably make a hanger for this another time, but I'm not too worried about it right now. All right, then. Here we go. So, I'm going to glue this in the back. Glue that right on top. Yep, finishing touch. It's all it needed. All it needed was a finishing touch. I love putting little wood beads on the bows or buttons. It's so cute. Cause it just covers, you know, however you tied it together and it's adorable and yeah. Okay. So there you go. How cute's that bow now? It's got a little finishing touch in the center there. Okay. So now skis, we're going to glue this bow on right in the middle. Going to block everything and I don't care cause it's adorable. Putting a load of hot glue on the back there. And then we're just going to stick this on right in the center. This just became a cute boo. <laughs> hey, boo. Cute, cute. All right. Thanks, Mom. All right. I'm just letting this hot glue dry. So give it a moment, Tito. Letting it dry. It's going to need it. It's going to need a minute. I'm going to grab my little easel so I can put it on it. I got these easels from Target. I have like five of them now. I love them. They're so cute to display the, my work at fairs and stuff, guys. Two fairs coming up in November while we let this dry. Let me tell you. Um, also, oh, they're a little messy, but I did some like breast cancer -y pink and red nails, color street. Um, oh, thank you so much, Debbie. I like this bow too. I'm, I love the jack o' lantern. I love buffalo check. I have a whole drawer over here of like buffalo check plaid ribbons. So thank you so much, Debbie. We totally agree. <laughs> um, so two fairs coming up in November. So if you're local, okay. So message me if you're local. Um, two fairs coming up. One at Saint Aidan Saint Patrick Parish, and in um, and then another in um, 
Hills Tavern. Um, so I'll share the, um, the details. I just got a flyer for the November 20th one, which is the first one. Yes, I think it's 20th. The Saturday before Thanksgiving and the Saturday after Thanksgiving is when we'll be there. Be at the, we'll be at the two different fairs, okay? So I'll post the flyers for it and everything um, so that you guys, if you're local, you can check us out. All right, so yeah, this totally covers the boo and I kind of don't care. So here's the reveal. I'm gonna grab an easel so it can set itself down. And what do you think? What do you think, everybody? I think the bow just kind of steals the show, makes it adorbs. Definitely cute Halloween. I'm not into spooky Halloween. <laughs> Y'all know this. Um, so yeah, what do you think? Drop some comments. Please let me know. And thank you so much for watching. We finished, oh, it's, it's late, but not too late. <laughs> Still got time to finish watching wrestling. Um, but all right. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. So, yeah, I'd probably put a hanger on it. I don't know. It could also be just set down like this, too. I'll probably spray it with some polycrylic later to seal it all in. Make sure it's all good to go. Um, but, yeah. All righty. So, um, just keep an eye out. We're going to be doing posting a few more Halloween projects this week. Um, oh, thank you so much, Debbie. That's really sweet of you. I really appreciate that. Um, so I'll be posting a few more Halloween projects this week. I think I'm going to make one more either on my own or maybe a quick live. I don't know. Um, I'll let you know if I'm going to go live. Most likely it'll probably just be on my own and I'll post it for you. Um, and then I have a step-by-step -step one that I want to, um, I show, I have posting and just some other fun stuff. And then don't forget, um, on Sunday on Halloween, we'll post our Halloween costumes so you can see. Um, and yeah, that's everything. All righty. Thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me on this Monday night. This was super fun. This is, I love the way this came out. Um, it's our last week of anything other than Christmas. I can tell you that much. We are going full out Christmas after this, all right? Because we've got those two fairs coming up and we need some product. <laughs> so we're going full out Christmas after this week, all righty? Thank you, Auntie. Um, so, y'all, I'll see you, um, if not sometime this week, definitely next Monday, all right? But I'll be posting all week, so I'll be talking to you guys, all right? Thank you so much again. Have an awesome, awesome week. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.